We all know it's important to work on our flexibility, but we rarely spend enough time stretching. Today I'm going to show you some techniques using the foam roll to help you get a better stretch. When our muscles tear down, the connective tissues repair around it in an ununiform fashion, causing knots. It's really difficult to stretch whenever your muscles have a lot of knots in them. So the foam roll can really help you break up those knots and get your muscles flowing back over each other evenly to help you get a more effective stretch. This is a foam roll and I'm going to show you some techniques using it. You're going to begin rolling out your IT band by coming into a somewhat side plank position on the foam roll. Rolling out the hip and you can move the foam roll lower down the leg to get better release going to even bring this all the way down the side of the leg. From here you'll transition to a figure four position to reach the piriformis. It could hurt a little bit. It's okay if you feel tenderness. That's just helping break things up. Make sure you do both sides. You can also roll out your low back supporting yourself slightly with your hands and feet, moving into different positions to reach the spots that really need to be worked out. Sometimes rolling on your back like this can press into your spine. If you need to or if you'd like to get a deeper tissue massage, you can roll onto the side, rolling up and down, you can also rock back and forth on it, moving many different directions. Now you can begin to work out your hamstrings. Rolling like this up and down. If you find a spot that's tender, work on it for a little while. You can get a deeper tissue massage by stacking one leg on top of the other. The more weight you put onto one point, the more pressure you'll feel. Now you can move the roll down to your calves, rolling the calves out. You can move the feet in different directions to work the outside of the calves. Working on those tender spots. Take plenty of time. You want to spend about 20 seconds on each knot. Now we're going to work out the lats. So now you're lying down on your hip, your arms extended out underneath you. And here you can't really roll over the foam roll, but you can use your hand to help move it. And again, you can work in multiple directions until you find that spot. Opening your chest up toward the ceiling a little bit will really help that roll get toward your back. Now this is a place a lot of people hold tension, the traps. So rolling out your trapezius, you can cross your arms over the chest. If you need to, you can give your head a little support by placing your hands behind your head. Again, you can move in different directions to work those knots out. And you can't do much wrong on the foam roll. Just roll out the tension. Using the foam roll will really help break up the knots in the muscles. Then you can get a little bit of a warm up and begin stretching. That is how you will get the most effective stretch.